Okay, so yesterday I connected the wires for the big three upgrade. So one wire from the alternator to the battery, one from the cylinder block to the chassis, and another one from the chassis to the battery terminal. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to evaluate that what kind of benefit we get from the upgrade. So you can see the alternator down there. So I ran up this wire from the alternator to the strut bar. It goes right along under the battery to here. I did not film the connection process because yesterday I didn't have the camera. So I just put it here, did not connect it yet. The battery posts are not well connectable to these terminals. So today I'll be using these terminals and these clips to connect to the stock wiring here so the problem <clears throat> that was with this car so I decided to do the big three upgrade is that <clears throat> whenever at night my headlights are on the defroster is on and then when I applied the brakes the headlights will go dim and also if you see at this wire this is kinda looks like a 10 gauge wire and the M the alternator was rated at like 60 amperes so that looked pretty cheap for that so what I did is this wire is connected to the cylinder block and it runs along to the chassis I sanded them off and then painted them with a primer I'll be painting another layer later on and another wire this one runs from there to it will be connected here to the negative post so let's go ahead and see what kind of voltages are we getting with different loads I'm gonna pause the video here and get back to you in a while okay so these wires which I connected are 4 gauge wires I don't think the 0 gauge will be too beneficial for this kind of a small alternator so I've connected my voltmeter to the battery post the engine is running so let's see what kind of voltages we get so we are getting around 14.45 with almost no loads. So let's go ahead and turn on the headlights. Straight away goes to 14.3. Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the rear defroster. And with that, it's 12.8. I'm gonna apply the brakes. So three extra filaments will drop our it's like 12 point almost 12 I'll let the brakes off it's 12.3 again okay I'm gonna apply the brakes again and I'm gonna turn on the <coughs> uh, high high headlights again high beams are on it's 11.7 all right, so I'm gonna go ahead now, shut it off, and the battery voltages are at 12.3 without any loads. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna connect these terminals or battery boards to the battery boards, and these ring terminals to the stock wiring. Since I don't have my tripod with me right now, I'm gonna shut off this video and then I'm gonna get back to you when I get some results okay people so this is what I did the voltmeter is connected to the battery post that's the negative with all three wires connected to the connectors over there and same for the positive Okay, let's crank it up and compare the voltages. Okay, let's see here. Let me start it up. Okay, guys, so it's 14.4. Okay, so now just the headlights. And it's at 14. Now I'm gonna turn on the rear defroster. 6. Much better than before. 
I'm gonna apply the brakes and see. Brakes gone, brakes applied. Now I'm gonna turn on the high beams. So, all in all, much better than before, with this particular car, so I would recommend this big 3 upgrade to you guys, if you are having similar problems as me, headlights dimming, and all such problems, and if you still get problems, one such thing which you can do is, you can change the traditional bulbs like this one here the indoor bulb and the brake lamps the backup lamp and all these things with the LED ones they for sure take much less power than that one so I guess that's it